Welcome to the League of Nerds comic book segment number 198. I'm John Cooney here to talk to you about comics released the 4th of November 2015, but I'm not going to do my usual first five this week. I had some trouble with my internet and production fell behind, so I'm just going to do a top 10 instead, starting with at number 1, Uncanny X-Men number 600, the final explosive issue in Brian Michael Bendis' epic X-Men saga, Scott Summers, Savior or Destroyer, questions will be answered. The Jean Grey School, the new Xavier School, it's all going to change. The X-Men are at a crossroads, and not everyone will make it through in one piece, featuring 40 pages of a host of popular X-Men creators. At number 2, we have Star Wars number 11, Chewbacca Unleashed, Skywalker in Chains, Han Solo with a ball and chain. At number 3, we've got Amazing Spider-Man number 3, more of Spider-Man's post-Secret Wars world revealed. Visit Parker Industries' New York headquarters, the building formerly known as the Baxter Building. The Human Torch is going to have something to say about that. At number four, we've got Invincible Iron Man number three. Tony is chasing the evil Madam Mask as her actions threaten to rip all of reality apart. But it is who Tony is teaming up with to do this that will have everyone talking. And a real good look at exactly what Iron Man's new armor does, and it's something. At number 5, we've got Extraordinary X-Men number 1, The Fate of Mutant Kind is decided here. Staring down the threat of extinction once more, veteran X-Men Storm pulls together the team she'll need to ensure her race's survival. Together, these extraordinary X-Men will struggle with the familiar burden of being hated and feared while facing threats the likes of which they've never seen. Here's hoping they survive the experience. At number 6, we've got Detective Comics number 46, for the first time since taking on the mantle of Batman, Jim Gordon has left Gotham City, but he's not alone. Recruited by the Justice League, Gordon taps into his detective skills to help Superman, Wonder Woman, and the world's greatest heroes solve the murder of a mysterious superpowered being. At number 7, we've got Howard the Duck, number 1. First spectacular issue, a great jumping on point, sure to go up in value. Don't miss out on the series everyone is calling Howard the Duck. The last page will shock you, nothing will ever be the same again. Hey, where are you going? Come back. Wah. At number 8, we've got Doctor Strange, number 2. Take a tour of Doctor Strange's home, the Sancto Sanctorum. It's the weirdest and most dangerous place in the Marvel Universe, a place where opening the wrong door can unleash hell on Earth. At number 9, we've got Justice League Dark Side War Superman number 1. Evolving into a god of strength, Superman has become an angry, violent brute, but one unlikely hero can save him. And at number 10, we've got Nova number 1. Two Novas? Sam Alexander's missing father is finally back, and the two are making adventure a family business. With their Nova helmets that enable them to fly and shoot energy beams, they're policing the Milky Way with their Nova Corps of Two. But is everything what it seems? And if that weren't enough, Sam is also now an Avenger. For the best of the rest, from DC Comics, we've got Batman and Robin Eternal number 5. The new Batman Weekly powers into its second month and goes international. Batman's greatest secret has torn the Robins apart, sending them on two different missions around the world. What is the significance of the case Batman and Robin worked five years ago in Prague? What will Jason Todd and Tim Drake find on the island of vice that is Gamora? And can Harper Rowe get through the wall Cassandra Kane has built around herself? And we've got Justice League Dark Side War The Flash number one. The Flash is forced to take on the role of Black Racer, Harbinger of Death. But can anyone escape this unlikely Grim Reaper? From Marvel Comics, we've got Avengers vs. Infinity No. 1. The Avengers take on their most powerful foes in four thrilling adventures. Dangerous Asgardian treasures have been lost, and the Avengers are on the hunt to get them back. But will the Avengers still prevail when they're fighting each other? Featuring Doctor Doom, Dracula, and the Blood Brothers. Next, we've got Contest of Champions No. 2. Ares lives, the God of War vs. Maestro, and Iron Man and Gamora. Who is the shadowy player scheming with the Grandmaster? You'll never guess. We've also got Deadpool number one. He's annoying, he's dangerous, he smells terrible, but the public love him. That's right, the Merc with the Mouth may make money for missions of murky morality, but he's become the most popular hero in the world for it. Eat that, Spidey. The world belongs to Deadpool. The fan-favorite team of Jerry Dugan and Mike Hawthorne return to bring Deadpool into his most successful adventures yet. Next we have Drax number one. 
UFC fighter CM Punk makes his mighty Marvel debut. Drax the Destroyer is the muscle for the Guardians of the Galaxy, but what does he do when he's not adventuring through space with the Guardians? He lets his bloodthirsty quest for revenge take the pilot seat, of course. Determined to find and kill Thanos once and for all, Drax is ready to take on the universe. But when you're tooling around the universe in a ship aptly named the Space Sucker, an unwavering desire for bloodshed isn't enough to keep a mission from derailing. Drax crash lands into his wildest adventures ever, encountering foes no one will ever expect. The depths of space may not be big enough to contain this much grit, vengeance, and all-out action. We've also got Hercules number one, still going strong. The world's first superhero decides it's time to get back in the game, protect the innocent, defend the world, and generally remind everyone why he set the mark for heroism in the first place. Make way, Hercules is back. The greatest son of Olympus is thrown into the fight against threats ancient and modern, and Hercules demonstrates that a legend, no matter how strong he is, survives on his experience and his ability to move with the times. A modern world, an age-old hero, and blockbuster action. Next we have Miracle Man by Gaiman and Buckingham number 4. Gaiman and Buckingham craft a bedtime story for the Golden Age. Winter's Tale tells the journey of Miracle Man's daughter and her adventure crossing the cosmos to find the quiz. What or who has retrieval brought back from infraspace, including material originally presented in Miracle Man number 20, plus bonus content. And we have Spider-Gwen number 0, Gwen Stacy Spider-Woman. In one universe, it wasn't Peter Parker bitten by the radioactive spider, but Gwen Stacy. She's smart, charming, and can lift a car. Just don't tell her police chief father. This special reprint of the top-selling Edge of Spider-Verse number 2 comes packed with bonus material, including script pages, sketches, and more. From Dynamite Entertainment, we've got James Bond number 1, Beginning Varger, the first story in the ongoing James Bond comic series by best-selling writer Warren Ellis. James Bond returns to London after a mission of vengeance in Helsinki to take up the workload of a fallen double-O section agent but something evil is moving through the back streets of the city, and sinister plans are being laid for Bond in Berlin. From IDW Publishing, we've got Star Trek New Visions Volume 9, The Hollow Man. A mysterious message draws Mr. Spock on a solo mission to a distant part of the Federation, where an old friend awaits, as well as a menace with the potential to threaten the entire galaxy. From Image Comics, we've got Lazarus Number 20, Poison Part 4, Johanna Makes Her Move. And we've got Velvet number 12, The Man Who Stole the World, continues as Velvet's search becomes a race for answers amid politics, high business, business, and murder. And from Valiant Entertainment, we've got Ninjak number 9, A Duel to the Death with the Shadow 7. As Ninjak goes head-to-head -head with Fakir of the Shadow 7, devastating secrets of his past stand revealed that will change his life forever. Plus, Roku makes her move, and an atom bomb goes missing. Out in trades this week, we've got Invincible, the Ultimate Collection, Volume 10, Hardcover. Everything changes as Invincible is betrayed by one of his friends and starts a brand new phase in Mark Grayson's life. Collects Invincible, number 109 to 120. Next, we've got Hawkeye, Volume 5, all-new Hawkeye trade paperback. It's a fresh look into the life of everyone's favorite Avenger. With Kate Bishop back at his side, Team Hawkeye is thrown into a new adventure spanning two generations of avenging archers. Past and present lives collide as Kate and Clint face a threat that will challenge everything they know about what it means to be Hawkeye. The past and present merge as Hawkeye's Barton and Bishop race against time to save a group of innocent kids with devastating powers. What makes a hero, and what breaks a hero? Hawkeye and Hawkeye will experience both. A boy at odds with his big brother, a hero out of sync with his partner, Team Hawkeye is fractured, things come to a head as Barney, Clint, and Kate learn what it means to carry the name Hawkeye. Collects all new Hawkeye number 1 through 5. And we've got Batman The Dark Knight Saga Deluxe Edition hardcover. In a dark dystopian future, Gotham City has descended into lawlessness in the 10 years since The Dark Knight retired. When his city cries out for help, Batman returns to save the city he had dedicated his life to protecting. Joined by Carrie Kelly, a teenage female Robin, Batman takes to the streets to end the threat of the mutant gangs that have overrun the city. But after facing off against his two greatest enemies, the Joker and Two-Face, for the final time, Batman finds himself in mortal combat with his former ally, Superman, in a battle that only one of them will survive. 
Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns and The Dark Knight Strikes Again are considered two of the most influential superhero graphic novels of all time, cementing Miller's status as one of his generation's greatest graphic storytellers. Collected here are both parts of the Miller's Dark Knight saga, including The Dark Knight Returns number 1 through 4, The Dark Knight Strikes Again 1 through 3, with additional character sketches and script pages. Okay, so that's just a few of my favorite books out this week. There's still plenty of others available, so check with your local comic shop for more. I wasn't able to do my usual Marvel, DC, or independent publishers videos this week, but check back next week on my YouTube channel at He's Got Issues dot com. You can also now find He's Got Issues on eBay at He's Got Issues dot com slash eBay for great deals on comics, trades, and superhero and pop culture merchandise with free shipping in the United States. And of course, you can still find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram to see everything I'm reading as I read it. There's links to everything in the About section at He's Got Issues dot com. And a reminder that both He's Got Issues and the League of Nerds are proud members of the Comics Podcast Network. So until next week, I'm John Cooney, and I've got issues.